Hey folks, welcome to Helen Roscoe Yoga on YouTube. I hope you're well. In this practice today, we're going to explore yoga as a means to helping us to wake up. Recently, myself and my family um, had a bit of a virus, a bit of a bug, and I found it really hard to get up in the morning. So I thought it might be useful to share some kind of practice ideas as to how we might be able to think about waking up the body and the breath and the mind. It doesn't necessarily need to be done first thing in the morning, it could be taken at any time of day, but the idea behind the practice is that it is going to be more kind of energising than not, so I would recommend kind of doing it in the earlier part of the day than towards the end of the day. So to begin with, just take your time to find a comfortable seat. I'm using a bolster, but you might prefer to sit onto a chair or onto the ground, resting up against the wall. And having the hips elevated is really useful for us to feel a sense of length and support along the spine. So let your hands just rest comfortably onto your lap. Invite your shoulders to soften away from your ears. Perhaps your eyes are open. Just start to soften your gaze a little so you're looking down more towards the ground. So we just want to get a sense of how we're feeling. Rather than rushing straight into the practice and trying to wake ourselves up straight away, we'll take a few kind of moments to have a sense of what we're doing in our bodies. Have a sense of where some tensions might be. A sense of where there might be ease. And start to maybe invite your gaze to broaden a little. So instead of looking down towards the ground or having your eyes closed, just look around the space. Invite your head to rotate from one side to the other. Look above. Look down. And then look out into the space around you, maybe beyond what's directly in front of you. Maybe look out of the window. So just start to invite your environment in. Invite your shoulders to soften, lifting them up and releasing them down. So soften and mobilise few times in one direction and then a few times the opposite way. So we're just kind of slowly waking up the body through the joints. Take your arms out in front of you. Give your fingers a little bit of a wriggle. Turn the hands to face up. Circle the wrists a few times in one direction. Circle them a few times the opposite way. So your breath at this stage is just very light. We're not trying to integrate movement with breath just yet. But you can begin to notice how your breath is as you move. And then invite your hands to come onto your shoulders. And the next time you breathe in, take the arms out in front of you. So this is when you can start thinking about inviting your breath and your movement to become more integrated which in itself can be quite awakening, can be very focusing for the mind. And when you've done that a few times, invite your hands to come onto your shoulders. And on the next breath in, take the elbows up towards the sky. And as you breathe out, draw the elbows down towards the rib cage. And just explore that a few times in one direction. So there's a little bit more coming into your shoulders now from those smaller shoulder circles earlier. And then change in direction. And the elbows come up and forwards and down. A breath in. And a breath out. So one way that we can begin to wake up 
is through movement, starting from the subtle, getting a little bit bigger, let yourself have a shake up, and then the other way that we're waking up is through the breath. So in whichever position you're in, just stretch your legs out in front of you and give your legs a little bit of a shake out there. We're going to come over onto all fours. So checking in that you have padding for your knees should you need it, padding for your wrists if you have tender wrists when you're on all fours. Coming into a position whereby you feel stable over your wrists and over your knees and just lightly engaging through the core. We're going to start to wake the body up along the spine. So the next time that you exhale, round up through the back of the body. And the next time that you inhale, extend the tailbone and then lengthen along the front of the body. The chest is lifted, you can raise your chin. And then exhale and round and draw in. So exploring this means of extension, lengthen on the breath in, between your pelvis and your shoulders, your collarbones, and then rounding into flexion as you breathe out, again between the pelvis and the collarbones, the shoulder girdle. So we're not really changing too much about the position of the pelvis and the position of the shoulders. We're focusing more on the spine and the torso in between those two points with the scaffolding of the arms and the knees. And then take your time to come back to neutral, so you're somewhere between those two points. And on your next exhale, start to take your hips back towards your heels. And as you breathe in, you're low to the ground. Invite the elbows to release and come forwards low to the ground and press up onto the hands. And then exhale, take the pelvis back. And then inhale and scoop forwards. And you can explore that three more times at your own pace. And you're just taking your hips as far back as is comfortable for your knees and your back. And when you have completed those rounds, find a position that feels comfortable for you to rest with your hips in the direction of your heels. So sometimes bending the knees deeply can be uncomfortable, so I would recommend keeping the hips raised and just resting the head onto the ground for a few moments. Focusing on your breath. Invite the quality of awakening as you breathe in. The feeling of expanse brings about a quality of energy. A feeling of energy brings about a quality of expanse. And then just start to take your hips a little further back towards the heels. Now if that position is not possible for you, then I would recommend being in a more upright position so you're standing on the knees. And we're going to do a little bit more sweeping motion through the upper body with a hinge in the hips. So feel free to watch and observe and then join in, or you can come along with my cues from the start if you'd like to. So taking the arms up towards the sky, Take a breath in, and as you exhale, sweep the arms out, the hips come down towards the heels, the hands to the lower back. Breath in, peel the chest away, and rise, expanding as if towards the sun. Exhale, sweep the arms around you, and fold in the direction of the earth. So for some of you, that deep forward fold is not going to be accessible, so I would recommend a hinge at the hips and then take the hands to the lower back as if you're folding towards the other. It's a little bit more effort in the legs, but it's more supportive there. We're not going as deep into that knee bend, nor are we folding as deeply in the pelvis, in the hips. So just exploring that wider, more expansive movement 
once more before you come to rest your hands by your sides, take a breath out and pause there. Maybe sigh a breath. Step one foot out in front of you and bring yourself up to stand. Just take a few moments with your feet shoulder distance. Have a sense of getting grounded, anchoring down through the feet. We're going to explore some sound in the next part of the practice. Sound is another way that we can think about awakening, bringing from the inside out a sense of volume. But just work within a range that feels comfortable for you. And you can always tune into the sound that I make if that's something that you would prefer. So we have this sense of really anchoring down through the soles of the feet, maybe let your toes broaden. Your arms are by your sides, lift the kneecaps, a sense of awakening, strength along the legs. And the next time that you breathe in, take your arms out at shoulder level and then make a fist to make the sound ah. And then a breath in and take the arms up towards the sky and on your exhale, sounding again. Parallel. 
Take the arms out at shoulder level and pause there as you exhale. Expand into the shape as you breathe in. And then exhale, lower the arms down. And then we'll do the same with the feet now in the opposite direction. Hands come in over the centre of the chest. Take a breath in. The arms come out at shoulder level. Exhale into your side angle. Arm overhead. So breath in. Expand out. Breath out. And lower the arms down. And again. Once more in this way. You can continue with the more dynamic range of movement if you prefer. Otherwise, coming down with me on the next round and we'll stay for a few breaths and explore those arm options as well. So on an exhale, you can wave the arm away, look down towards the sky. Maybe you can see your feet, the toes. On the inhale, take the arm overhead and look in the direction of your armpit. And just exploring that a few times and choosing to stay in either of those positions for a few breaths longer. So you might prefer to stay with the arm further away if you find that when the arm is overhead there's some tension that builds around your neck and your shoulder area. Maybe fixing your gaze somewhere in the room. And when you're ready, press through that front leg, bring yourself up, lower the arms, exhale, take the arms out at shoulder level and pause. Stay in your shape for a few breaths. If you think of the, the drawing with Leonardo da Vinci and the human body, the five points, the head, the hands, the feet, anchoring into the circle. Can you imagine a circle around you that you're awakening the body into? And then the next time that you exhale, hinge at your hips, hands to the lower back, forward fold. You might prefer to have something here for your hands, perhaps some blocks or blankets. You could always lower your hands towards the ground, rounding across the back of your body. On a breath in, Lift and lengthen. So this action of lifting and lengthening is very awakening along the spine. And then on the exhale, folding and rounding. And then another breath in and lifting and lengthening. So just try that again once more. And then start to walk your feet in so that you end up in Uttanasana, forward fold. Just pedaling those feet towards one another. And take your time to lower your bum down towards the ground. And lower your seat into the earth. Just take a few moments to establish a seat in your body. So I would recommend placing the blanket underneath your bum or a block if you have something like that. And stretching your legs out in front of you, bend your right knee and place your right knee over your left leg. Now some of you may prefer to keep that left leg straight or if you're able to, you could draw the knee, the, the heel on the left foot towards your right buttock. So you're almost in a kind of pretzel shape. Keeping ourselves facing forwards and as you exhale we're going to start to invite ourselves to turn gradually towards the space to our right and the right hand just places down behind you so we're moving into a seated twist and as you breathe in just have a sense that there's some length so there's this quality of animation awakening and then on the breath out invite yourself to turn gradually and just explore that for another couple of breaths. A sense of lift and rise on the breath in. And then a gradual turn on the breath out. Maybe your eyes are open. Maybe they're closed. Focusing on your breath. A 
And when you're ready, take a breath in to come back to centre. Exhale, unravel. Your legs can come out in front of you. And we'll do the same thing on the opposite side. So I'm going to take my left foot over the right leg. And either keeping that leg straight or tucking the right heel in towards the left buttock. Optional. For this round, I'll just keep it straight out in front so you can see that variation. Taking a breath in, anchoring down through my sit bones, lengthening along the spine. Exhale, then I'm going to rest the elbow onto the knee, but some of you still might prefer to just have the hand there. It depends on your range of movement. You could even tuck the elbow onto the thigh. And the exhale is the part that is taking you into the twist. And the inhale is just an ever so soft release from that turn. A lift in the torso, the sense of animation, of awakening. And then on the exhale, encouraging that gentle turn to your left. This left shoulder is rising. So I'm just going to invite that to soften away. One more breath here. And then bringing yourself back to centre. Legs out in front of you. So we're going to take a forward fold. And I really encourage you to have your knees as released as they need to be in order for you to move into that fold. So the next time that you breathe in, taking the arms up towards the sky, and as you exhale, folding over your legs, hands towards your feet. Stroking the ground, breath in. Take the arms up, exhale and release. So we'll do this maybe four times. You can always, each time, just see whether there's a little bit more length there through the back of your legs. So perhaps knees aren't quite as bent or perhaps they are. It sort of depends on the time of day as well. In the morning, you might feel more stiff, a little bit more nervy. And by the end of the day, perhaps there's less of that nerve sensation occurring. Okay, so we'll just do one more of those. And then we're going to bring ourselves up on breath in. And guiding the feet in as we did at the start of the practice, just taking our time to find a comfortable seat of choice. This time I'm cross legged, but please do use a chair if you need to. We'll just do a little bit of sand work again to sort of help us come back into our day with this sense of awakening. And we'll explore our ah, ooh, mm as our sounds. So making your finger and thumb into a mudra, a seal of circle. And take a few moments here to settle into your seat. Sense of buoyancy, awakening along the spine. Taking a breath in, sounding ah on the exhale. Ah. And then change the mudra in an offer of gesturing, so as if you're giving from yourself into the space. Ooh, on the exhale, breathing in. Onto your lap. No 
noticing how it feels to breathe in, how it feels to breathe out. And to complete the practice, we'll just take a few rounds of alternate nostril breathing, Nadi Shodhana, which in itself is a very awakening, clarifying breath. If you find that you're a bit congested today, then I would recommend visualising the alternate nostril breathing. So we take a little mudra, invite the index finger and middle finger in on the left, on the right hand, making a little pincer grip with the thumb, the ring finger and the baby finger, and you place it onto the bridge of the nose. So ever so softly keeping a sense of constriction over the nostrils the whole time. Closing the right nostril, taking a breath in through the left. Close the left nostril, exhale through the right. Breathe in through the right. Close the right nostril, exhale left. Breathe in left. Close the left nostril and breathe out right. So we'll just do another four of those. When you've completed, invite your hands to rest onto your lap. We'll just take another four breaths or so, noticing each in breath, noticing each out breath. And just having a sense of alertness, clarity, focus. I feel more awake. I'm ready for the rest of my day. So thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the practice and I'm looking forward to checking in with you very soon.